day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we'd like to talk about the new science on the omega-3s. These substances, the, the, the fish oil, what they can do for your health is just remarkable. Remember, omega-3s are a necessary nutrient, so we must include them in our diet. But what happens when we get a little extra boost? That's what we want to talk about today, your health and the omega-3s. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Extra virgin olive oil and nuts reverse heart disease better than medications. Research from the University of Navarro in Spain compared three different groups of patients in the effects of olive oil, nuts, and a low-fat diet. They found the groups that used olive oil or nuts showed regression of arterial wall thickness, a known risk factor indicator for heart disease. Folks, did you get that? Because this is amazing. Olive oil or nuts, either one, reverses heart disease better than a low-fat diet or even the standard medications used to control heart disease. Now, in this study, the participants were asked to either consume with their diet about one quart of olive oil a week, 30 grams of tree nuts, including walnuts, almonds, and hazelnuts daily, or follow a low-fat diet. So in essence, they were comparing the ability of the Mediterranean diet with a low-fat diet and reversing the laboratory evidence of heart disease. And guess what? The Mediterranean diet won. It even worked better than medications. The researchers report that a modification in the entire diet pattern, in other words, following the Mediterranean diet, managed to achieve in just one year results that pharmaceutical drugs did not even have after two years of treatment. Now, this study is also remarkable in that they did not look at the potential benefits that fish oil may afford those hoping to avoid heart disease. So we can only imagine the benefits we could receive if we combine the Mediterranean diet complete with olive oil and nuts and seeds along with fish oil and all the other measures that make up holism. Omega-3s reduce breast cancer growth. New research from the University of Guelph in Ontario, Canada provides the first unequivocal evidence that a lifelong pattern of consuming omega-3 fatty acids reduces the risk of breast cancer by about 30%. The team of researchers used mice genetically programmed to make omega-3s and to be susceptible to breast cancer. They compared tumor growth patterns in these programmed animals with animals programmed to only develop breast cancer. They found in the study that the mice that made their own omega-3s were 30% less likely to develop breast cancer. Well, this one's clever, isn't it? Now, mice genetically programmed to be susceptible to breast cancer and programmed to make their own omega-3s have significantly lower breast cancer rates than mice just bred to be susceptible to breast cancer. Now, of course, this study was on mice, but now they have a precedent to study breast cancer rates in humans that consume omega-3s. Over the past several weeks, multiple omega-3 studies have been reported. The findings include omega-3s help to prevent skin cancer, the Omega-3 DHA reduces the risk of having low birth weight premature babies. Fish eaters have lower rates of pancreatic cancer. And heart disease patients with stents have lower rates of restenosis and heart attack if they supplement with omega-3s. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss the many and varied health benefits of the omega-3 fatty acids. If you have relied upon the mainstream media to keep you informed on this topic, you have been misinformed. And we will set the record straight today. So join us. We'll be right back. May Savings Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. 
I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you one of the 25 million Americans who suffer from an autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis or lupus? Autoimmune diseases are caused by a misdirected immune system that attacks the patient as though their own cells are a foreign invader. You can manage the symptoms of an autoimmune disease by living a healthy lifestyle. Here's a strategy. Avoid unnecessary exposure to pollutants and chemicals. Eat a simple organic-based diet free of junk food, low in sugar and food additives. Avoid foods that seem to cause flare-ups of your disease and stay active and exercise. Scientific research shows natural agents are of great benefit to the autoimmune disease patient. Yogurt helps to maintain normal bowel flora. Fish and flaxseed oil and noni juice calm inflammation. Vitamins and minerals provide nutrients for proper immune function. Keep fighting and don't ever give up. A positive attitude can make each day a little better. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It's such a blessing to be with you today, and I hope many blessings are coming your way. Well, it is springtime, it's May, and what a celebration BioInnovations is having. You know how it is. It's the best prices of the entire year. And free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's the Mainland USA. So I want you to get in on that. Well, today's show is going to be very informative. It's a full hour of omegas. This is just great. And you might say, well, I get my omegas because I eat a healthy diet. Well, you might not get as much as you need. So we're gonna start off with a quiz that Dr. Becker's put together. This is really interesting. You can sit back and listen and take the quiz right along with him as he explains it to us and determine if maybe you need a little more omegas in your diet. Yeah. Now, Richard, tell us about this quiz and how it works. Well, we go through a uh, list of past medical diagnoses or symptoms, mm -hmm. conditions that you may have had. And if you have had this condition, give yourself a point. Keep track as we go. We'll add up our score and tell you what the score means. Let's start with dry, itchy skin. Is it, if you have a persistent pattern with this, and you might notice this most in the winter time, but it still qualifies. Dry, itchy skin. Brittle hair or nails. Poor wound healing. You know, you get these little scratches and two weeks later there's still a scratch there. Clotting issues. You may be uh, more likely to clot, less likely to clot, either way. Muscle loss. You're weak. Okay, that gives a point. Do you have a history of high blood pressure? Do you have a history of high triglycerides or perhaps you've been told you are pre-diabetic? High triglycerides or pre-diabetic. Heart arrhythmias. That's a point. Poor circulation. Okay, family history of cardiovascular disease. Do you personally have a history of a heart attack or a history of a TIA or mini stroke, transient ischemic attack as it's known? Do you have a history of ADHD, attention deficit, or just maybe the inability to concentrate? And this is a persistent pattern, and not just one day you woke up feeling a little tired and didn't feel like doing your work, but a persistent pattern of inability to concentrate. Chronic depression constantly fighting the blues or perhaps it's anxiety or stress high level stress week after week worsening or changing of your sight your vision okay do you crave fatty foods this is a huge one that ought to be worth two points if you're craving fatty foods constipation low fertility particularly in men if you've had low fertility issues joint pain weak bones or osteoporosis do you have chronic inflammation conditions such as arthritis, bronchitis, colitis, this type of thing. Take a point for each one of these. And finally, do more than 50% of your meals come from outside of your home, 
or from prepackaged foods? If so, give yourself a point. Now let's add up our marks and see where we're at. If you have one or two, you're in, do, you're in pretty good shape. There's a low probability of omega-3 deficiency. If you have three to five marks, your medium likelihood, you require some changes in your diet and your approach to life, perhaps. If you have six or more marks, that's a high probability of extreme omega-3 deficiency, and we better act quick or there will be problems for sure. Okay? Now, I have history of some of these things, but I take my omega-3, so I do pretty good. How That's do you great. do? Yeah. Well, actually, as I was taking mm -hmm. that right along with you, I couldn't help but contrast to where I was a few years ago and right. then where I am mm -hmm. once I've learned and put these measures into place. Yeah. So okay. I scored really high, but oh. it wouldn't have always been so. Yes. Yeah. Well, we can do something so about that. So I supplement that. mine right Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Now, let's talk a little bit why everyone needs to supplement EPA and DHA, the omega-3s, okay? You know, the chemistry of these omegas gets a little complicated and it, it discourages people from understanding um, the details of the omega-3s. And let's try to clarify that so we all understand what's going on here. Alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA, let's just call it ALA, alpha-linolenic acid, was considered the only essential omega-3. And it was felt that that ALA was easily converted to EPA, eco-septanoic acid, and DHA, docosis hexanoic acid. EPA and, and DHA are important for heart and nerve issues. So ALA was the critical one, and then our bodies converted it over to EPA and DHA, and we thought that was all you needed and didn't need to worry about it. Meaning a vegetarian source like flaxseed or avocado oil or soybean oil could provide enough omega-3s your body converts it to the EPA and DHA and all as well. But that is old science. It's not so. Modern advanced techniques show ALA is only marginally converted to EPA and even less so to DHA. So the old thinking is not so. We don't convert very well. We do some, but not very well from ALA onto EPA and DHA. Radioisotope labeling, in other words, what they do with this is they take one of the carbon atoms and substitute a radioactive carbon in there. And that way, if that starts in a, uh, the fish oil or the omega-3, they can trace it through the body and find out what it does. It's a really advanced and fascinating technique to follow a molecule through the human body. Anyway, this technique shows that ALA converts to EPA and DHA at an overall 0.4% efficiency. Dismal. Not good at all. Yeah, so if you're counting on flaxseed oil to provide you DHA, it's not going to do it very well. It's not going to do it. Not reliably. It also shows ALA converts to DHA at 0.1% efficiency. Very poor conversions, okay? Modern techniques also show the rate of conversion is highly variable from person to person. This could be family history of heart disease, no family history of heart disease. It could be purely just a conversion issue for, for the family susceptible. It also shows women in general are better converting ALA to DHA than men. Women convert an average of 9% of their dietary ALA to DHA. Men, on the other hand, just show negligible conversion, okay? Further research on neonates, newborn babies, show that they completely lack the enzyme that converts ALA to DHA. So if neonates are not provided DHA from breast milk or from formula, they become mentally retarded and blind. I mean, this is tragic, and they've learned to avoid that by supplementing uh, to the neonate through the uh, formula or through mother's milk. Both will provide. Either one will provide. Past studies that discredit omega-3 supplementation typically gives ALA with no EPA and DHA at all. What this means is that if you, uh, uh, you may ingest enough ALA to sustain life because you're converting a trickle, a trickle DHA, a trickle here or there. But it's, unless you're eating fish or supplementing EPA and DHA, in particular, you're not getting enough omega-3s to promote vital health. Okay, does that make sense? That, that helps us to clarify. Now, this confusion has been used in the media and through scientific publications to discredit supplementing omega-3s for heart disease. Recently, a publicized study was covered by all the mainstream media, concluded that omega-3s did not prevent heart attacks. Remember when that hit the, the wire? And everybody says, oh, they're no good now. 
and it, it, disregarding thousands of research projects on a variety of health conditions besides heart disease, but everybody clumps it together and says, oh, they're no good. Omega-3s don't help heart disease, so don't even bother. Well, I looked at that study, and it's full of holes, folks. Get this. They started with over 3,600 different studies on omega-3s and heart disease, but they chose to review only 20. They cherry-picked their studies. No details were provided on omega-3s except the average intake was 1.5 grams per day for two years. But nothing was given about DHA, EPA, and we just learned we don't convert ALA very well over to EPA and DHA. But none of that was clarified in these studies that they cherry-picked. There is no information on the diet of the subjects, no information on DHA, EPA content, level of existing disease, was it supplemental omega-3s or was it fish oil? And the authors wrote themselves that this method of study is a poor method it's not the best for finding out if omega-3s help to prevent heart disease, and yet all the major networks carried this story. What they could have done, imagine this scenario. Using their profile, here's what they could have done. Let's imagine we want to study heart disease and omega-3s in the Greek Isles. This is an island nation. They fish a lot. They eat a lot of fish. So we could have this group of Greek individuals, and we could ask, if, have you ever taken an omega-3? And a person could say, yeah, I took one omega-3. Okay, you're in the study. When it comes out that that one person who did not take, who took only one omega-3, didn't have a change in heart disease rate versus the population that eats fish anyway, it's discredited. You see, that's the kind of studies they cherry-picked in order to tell you omega-3s don't work. Well, I'm not standing for that. It's not true. It's misinformation. Now, why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why would they intentionally, to my notion, harm people? It's money. They advertise cholesterol-lowering drugs. It's just that simple. Now, let's go to our break. When we return, let's talk about what omegas do throughout the stages of life. Health benefits, cradle to grave, when we return. Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at BioInnovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. We all have said, I need to get some exercise, but how many of us put on our walking shoes and go? Learning a little more about the health benefits of exercise may help you get motivated to lace up those walking shoes. Exercise helps to control our appetite and weight. It maintains strong muscles. It promotes the release of endorphins that counter depression while helping us feel good about our lives. Exercise helps to lower blood glucose, promotes a strong circulatory system, and controls cholesterol. Exercise even helps us get a good night's sleep. Recent research finds dog owners who regularly walk their pet are 34% more likely to achieve fitness goals. You can get all of these health benefits by walking 30 minutes four times a week, just 30 minutes a day. Start today and you'll start to get all those benefits. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. 
Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone. Just a little reminder here. It is May Saving Celebration at BioNovations, and what a celebration we're having. So don't miss out on that one. Call for details. Well, this is interesting on the omegas, isn't it? And it's all true. This is just amazing to me. And I can tell you, when I started supplementing the omegas, I really started feeling a difference. I wish I'd done it years before. Anyway, Richard, you know, if we only knew. Yeah. Well, you know, learn, as they say. Yeah, we do, don't we? We do. I wish that I had been supplementing with the omegas when I was carrying the girls. Yes. You know, I didn't know then. I thought avocado and flax and all of well, those things did it for me. Yeah, God gave women a better ability to do that than men. Probably for that exact reason. You know, right. I, who am I to... to uh, Right. understand the workings of the Almighty, but it all worked out and you have some smart daughters. So I do, but I think fine. that the health of all of us would have yes. been one oh, step better so. had I known about this then, you know? Yeah. Anyway, well, talk about the early years. That leads us to right now. We're going to talk yeah. about the benefits of the omegas from early childhood, from birth, all the way yes. through our life. These are necessary nutrients, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, from the very first breath to the last, we need the omega-3s. The Child Health Foundation now recommends, from all this evidence in which we're reviewing some of it today, lactating mothers should supplement their diet with one gram of omega-3s, and it should be the EPA DHA type of omega-3 from fish oil, okay? And it needs to have the EPA and DHA. Eating fish during and after pregnancy Benefits mothers remarkably. It lowers the risk of preeclampsia and eclampsia. You know, the high blood pressure and fluid retention of pregnancy. This is related to omega-3s and magnesium levels, and it's quite complex and all the hormones and everything. But we can reduce that risk of having a, a rampant high blood pressure and even seizures. It is still the number one cause of death in the de- delivery time is eclampsia. So there's still more work that needs to be done. It reduces the risk of premature delivery. Okay, reduces the chance of postpartum depression. This has been very uh, uh, public, postpartum depression. Um, it giving 3.4 grams of EPA and DH, and that's a higher dose. Okay, that's a higher dose to depressed mothers, depressed pregnant mothers during the last trimester. Reduced depression scores 66% in the mother's postpartum. And many of these but women became completely depression free just from supplementing EPA and DHA in that last third of pregnancy and the first few months of uh, postpartum, okay? This really helps the depression score, 66% reduction. Many of these became depression free. Mothers may lose up to 3% of their brain's mass during the last trimester of pregnancy so that baby's brain can grow. Baby gets everything from mama. If mama doesn't have what she needs to give a share to baby, mother pays the price. This is why, I, you know, often I ask the question, how did this pattern of poor health start in you, ma'am? Did you have three babies over a four year period? This type of this complete drain of mother, and if she's not replacing everything, nature prefers the baby gets it. It's assumed by nature that mama will get up and go find what she needs because baby can't. Human babies are helpless creatures. They are totally dependent on us, right? It's not like your horses. The baby is born within an hour, he's up running around. It's amazing to see that in an animal, but humans aren't like that. So keep that in mind, folks. During pregnancy, mama needs to really supplement really well because then baby will have plenty and she'll have plenty. Okay. Um, Eating fish during and after pregnancy benefits babies as well. Fish oil in the last half of pregnancy leads to babies with better eye-hand coordination. Isn't that amazing? Maybe you have an athletic family. Maybe dad and granddad had scholarships for football or baseball off to college, and you want to continue that tradition. Well, you'd want to help that baby with everything you can. Uh, Omega-3s will lead to better eye-hand coordination. Breastfeeding leads to better eyesight and brain development and higher IQ in the children. 
This has been studied and proven. Lowers the child's risk of future breast cancer. If that baby is developing in an environment of abundant omega-3s, the entire life of the baby, female baby and male, lower risk of breast cancer. I find that that's amazing to me. Doesn't that just go wow to you? Mm -hmm. It does to me. Okay. Uh, children who eat fish see benefits, higher IQ, fewer allergies, less behavior problems, improved cognition, improved sleep, improved, improved social interaction, and it even helps autistic children with these things. It doesn't cure autism, but it helps them with it. Combined with vitamin E and omega-3s, helps the autistic child with improved speech. Boys who regularly consume fish have a 27% reduction in depression risk, and they did not see that pattern for girls in that study, but it did for boys. And a typical child who is well nourished with fish oil and fish in the diet, they're 10 to 12 pounds thinner. That's not slighter, thinner, less fat. That's remarkable. How about midlife? Okay, omegas benefit the brain. We have multiple studies now that show the omega-3s, particularly if it has EPA and DHA in it, reduces stress and anxiety, depression, dyslexia symptoms, symptoms of ADHD, bipolar depression, and schizophrenia. All of these benefit from omega-3s. If there is no mental disorder, the omega-3s provide improved psychological test scores with a more agreeable personality. That's right out of the study. More agreeable. Don't you prefer to work with people with an agreeable personality, sense of cooperation? Let's get this done. We're a team. Everybody wants to be around people like that. Omega-3s help that. Another amazing thing. Adding omega-3s to an antidepressant. Let's say you've had a rough patch. You and your doctor decide to take an antidepressant. It's going to help you a little bit. They found that your uh, the, the antidepressant uh, improved its function improved by 50% if you took an omega-3 with the antidepressant pill. Okay, pretty remarkable. Medical students given fish oil for six weeks. I know something about the stress of med school. It's a heavy load and it's very stressful. They showed a 20% reduction in anxiety levels and a 14% decrease in inflammatory markers. Just from taking a little pill of fish oil every day. Dr. Blaylock's research, retired neurosurgeon, great guy, Great, strong Christian too, good man. Dr. Blaylock's research shows omega-3s reduce MSGs and aspartanes neurotoxicity, you know, the um, excitotoxins that affect the brain. It helps to calm that down. Fish oil is now being investigated for post-traumatic stress disorder and the early results are promising. There'll be more on that as those studies come in. What about weight control and diabetes? We're a nation of expanding waistlines and skyrocketing diabetes rates. If you supplement your diet with omega-3s, and remember, whenever I say that, I'm saying EPA with DHA, not just ALA, but the uh, all three, you need really, all three is the best package. If you do that, you reduce your overall hunger and urges to eat more within two hours after a meal. How often have you had your meal and you think you're full and an hour later, oh, boy, I really want some. That's your body telling you you're not getting enough of something. Now you're interpreting it as I just need more calories, I need to eat. No, you need more nutrient. That is typically the pattern and omega-3s will help that grazing pattern that really adds the weight. <laughs> Can't do that and stay thin. Uh, Omega-3 supplementation reduces insulin levels. What is diabetes? Type 2, but insulin resistance and elevated insulin levels, we want to drop those. Omega-3s help to reduce the insulin resistance and it helps to lower insulin levels while negating insulin resistance. Pretty neat. Reduces a diabetic's uh, blood glucose levels while negating cardiovascular disease risk and age-associated macular uh, degeneration risk. How about omegas and cardiovascular disease? Omega-3s reduce cardiovascular disease risk by reducing clots, reducing inflammation, lowering triglycerides, raising HDL, lowering arrhythmia potential, and improving blood vessel elasticity. And all you need is about a half a gram a day minimum to achieve that, and it must have that EPA and DHA content. It works better. Some can do fairly well with just ALA, but as we've established, it's best to have the EPA and DHA as well. Um, it reduces, here we go, consuming fish five times a week. Now that's a lot of fish. I don't like it that much, a couple times a week, but if you can do it five times, 64% reduced risk of coronary artery disease. Number one killer, folks, 64% reduced risk. Those who had fish just once a month, once a month, 26% reduction of cardiovascular disease. Wow, completely contrary 
completely contrary to the big press release a few months ago. Okay? I smell a fish somewhere, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Taking fish oil is more effective than implanted cardiac defibrillators in preventing sudden cardiac arrest. You've seen these in public places, and they're a good idea. I'm not saying they should take them down. But if everybody took fish oil, it'd be more effective and cheaper than putting those up in public places. Isn't that something? Well, that would make sense. That means we won't do that, right? Eating a Mediterranean diet rich in omega-3s reduced the risk of dying from MI by 20%, heart attack by 20%, and the risk of dying from all causes by 44%. Fish oil does better than statins for heart failure. Those who consume fish oil are 33% less risk of developing congestive heart failure. Well, we're headed to our break, but let's talk about the senior years in the omega-3s when we return. Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at BioRenovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Do you have throbbing headaches that bring on a sense of apprehension and stress? I'm Dr. Richard Becker with your health at a glance. Perhaps your headaches are a sign of high blood pressure or what doctors call hypertension. You may even have hypertension with no symptoms at all. Checking your blood pressure is easy and an important tool in determining your health. A blood pressure diary is a reliable way to diagnose hypertension. You can purchase a blood pressure cuff at most local pharmacies. Check your pressure two to three times a day and record it for one week. If your readings are consistently above 130 over 85, you may have hypertension and you should see a doctor. Most with hypertension respond favorably to salt restriction, exercise, increased water intake, and the loss of a few pounds. Doing your part lessens the need for medication and increases your likelihood of a long, healthy life. I'm Dr. Richard Becker with your health at a glance. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Maitake, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. At BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing Mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, we're having a fascinating discussion today on the omegas. New research, this is so interesting. And I've got to give you a reminder, it is May Savings Celebration at BioInnovations. The best prices of the year, free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's in the mainland USA. But get your order in so we can get the supplements to you that you need. Well, this talk about omegas is really interesting, isn't it? And I just love the way I hear the stories come in and then I think, you know, it's a gradual change that we make as we start getting healthy and we start learning these things. It's not overnight. And also to remember that it took us a while to get in the state of health that we're in. So it's going to take a while to get out. So don't give up, stay with it and you will start feeling the difference. Now, Richard, yes. inflammation, 
I mean, we should have a book that says inflammation kills. Oh, yeah. I mean, Very because good. it does. Yes. Yes, it I does. I mean, inflammation is the source of so many of our problems. Right. So let's talk about inflammation yeah. and fish oil or, and or the omegas. Researchers from the University of California at San Diego did a study, and they were looking at this protein. It's a G protein coupled receptor. They call it GPR120. What that is, it, this is a cr protein complex uh, that is in the cell wall of, of our cells and it, it's involved in cell signaling. So it gets a message and it takes that message molecule inside the cell where it initiates an activation, GPR120, okay? And what they found that about 30% at least or more of all our medications work on this complex, the cell signaling complex. And they found that when EPA and DHA, the special omega-3s, when it attaches to GPR120 complex, it inhibits the inflammatory response that leads to diabetes, heart disease, along with pain and total body inflammation. And the EPA and DHA affects that cell signaling that ends in calmed inflammation better than any drug ever tested. Okay? So those anti-inflammatory drugs that everyone's so proud of, and, and they, I've heard more people call ibuprofen a miracle drug than anything else because it's so handy, it's so easy. You have an ache, you take one, and it helps. Well, maybe we should get in the habit of taking fish oil for that because the scientists said the fish oil works on this cell signaling complex that calms inflammation better than any drug ever tested. And this is why when people eat a Mediterranean diet rich in omega-3s, they reduce the risk of dying from a heart attack by 20% and dying from all causes, not just heart disease, by 44%. Okay, this is the practical end point of it. Omega-3s in cancer, they reduce the rate of breast cancer, reduce the rate of liver, lung, and prostate cancer by about 50%, which is amazing, while they reduce the risk of colorectal cancer by 66%. Omega-3s reduce the risk of advanced aggressive prostate cancer by 500%. Men who are balding, higher levels of dihydrotestosterone, you're at the highest risk for prostate cancer. You need to get on omega-3s. Get on a little pomegranate, pumpkin seeds, vitamin E. These things will help maintain a healthy prostate and dramatically decrease your risk of prostate cancer. Omega-3s make chemotherapy agent cisplatin more effective and less toxic to the kidney. It plays a role in cancer in combination cancer treatment with chemotherapy. Penn State researchers are investigating use of compounds found in fish oil as a possible treatment for chronic myelogenous leukemia. The research is ongoing, but it looks promising. Could be helpful there. More on that as it comes in. Omegas and other common midlife issues, lower relapses of Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, any of the inflammatory diseases. You're going to have lower remission, you're going to have higher remission rates, lower episodes of pain, and less pain when you do have. Reduces the symptoms of dry skin, particularly that winter dry skin, eczema and psoriasis, and improves fertility in men. Okay? Now, as the years accumulate, the insults and traumas accumulate, inflammation accumulates, Alzheimer's, eating fish one time a week reduces the risk of dementia by up to 70%, depending on what group of, you know, ethnic background and whatnot, varies a little bit, while slowing its progression in those who already have Alzheimer's. So the best plan is to prevent the Alzheimer's with a plan of prevention that includes abundant uh, omega-3s and particularly DHA. DHA, the brain is some 20, 30% pure DHA. It's a very oily tissue, 70% fat, lipids, and oils, the brain, and a high percentage of that is DHA. And you're not getting much of that if you're just taking flaxseed oil, okay? I love flaxseed oil for other things, but it's not the best to support the brain, okay? Uh, those who supplement omega-3s have a reduced risk of silent brain infarcts by 25%. Those with elevated cholesterol and they eat more fish, your doctor tells you you have high cholesterol. Then I tell you to eat more fish, what will happen? You're 54% less likely to have a second stroke. How many times has somebody called and said, I had a stroke, I don't want a second? Well, this is very much a part of your answer, is to bump up those omega-3s, particularly the DHA component. The eyes, 
High EPA and DHA levels decrease the risk of wet form of macular degeneration by 70%. This is blindness. I think it's the most common reason to go blind in America, you know, diabetic retinopathy and age-related macular degeneration. You know, 70% reduction. Joint health, reduced number of swollen and painful joints in both rheumatoid and osteoarthritis. This is where it really makes a difference, folks, for those painful joints. Reduces the number of swollen joints. 60% of those with painful disc disease could stop their pain medicine with just the addition of omega-3s. Chronic pain patients, pay attention. Okay, osteoporosis, men with the highest intake of omega-3s had the strongest bones and the lowest rates of osteoporosis. Now let's go to our break, but we have in just in the last two months, oh, I don't know, eight or 10 new research projects on the omega-3. So when we return, let's go over the brand new stuff on the omega-3s. Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back everyone talking about the importance of the omegas both in your diet and to supplement to maintain good health this is so interesting isn't it well now Richard has new research stories to share with you I always love it when he's studying and he gets the latest out there so we know we're right on the cutting edge we know it before the doctors know it a lot of times, guys. Yeah, yeah. So this is true, and yes. it's really important. It is important. And I important. love the way that research marches on. They don't just stop and say, okay, I learned this. Let's just stop here. Yeah, no. 
every day we're learning. Yes. So let's share. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's an amazing time to mm -hmm. be a scientist or a physician and take advantage of the science. New research on the omega threes from Great Britain: taking fish oil significantly lowers high blood pressure. How many times do people call and say, "I want a natural alternative to all this blood pressure medicine"? Makes me so tired and weak. I get the, I get it. Uh, to that omega three, add a little vitamin D. How about a little grapeseed extract and olive leaf? Many of you will be able to reduce the amount of medication you take, and some may be able to stop medicines completely control your blood pressure. But whatever you do, get it under control. It's that important. It's like high blood sugar and diabetes. You have to get it under control. But leave it at this. Great Britain just showed omega-3s reduce blood pressure in hypertensives. Harvard, if you have a high EPA DHA level, it's tied to 15% lower risk of heart failure. All the talk of heart disease is coronary artery disease. You know, we want to reduce that, but heart failure is another leading cause of death and 15% lower risk of heart failure. In Greece, they found omega-3s helps protect smokers' blood vessels from the free radical damage from all that smoke, right? Okay. Omega-3s help the smoker prevent damage to his blood vessels. Denmark, high, high intake of long chain, that's your marine, we're talking EPA, DHA, they're long chains, okay? Tied to 38% lower risk of ischemic heart disease in women, okay? And this is not true of the plant-based omega-3s. Flaxseed oil did not provide that benefit. Only the fish oil with the long chain EPA. Okay, brain and nerves, United States Army did a study, low omega-3s tied to poor cognitive flexibility. That, that agreeable person again. When they're low, the omega-3s are low, poor cognitive flexibility and executive function, especially in response to fatigue. Now, how important that is that for a young officer in the field with his troops? If he's low in omega-3s and they just hike 20 miles to get to that critical point where they have to be and he can't make decisions because he's washed out, this is a problem. So the Army found you give these men and women omega-3s, fish oil, they're better able to perform in those highly stressful situations. That's going to save lives. That's a good thing. Another one, University of Pittsburgh, omega-3s improve working memory. You know, I'm thinking of a carpenter. He measures, makes a measure, goes over to cut it and go, <clears throat> What was that again? I forgot. Ask, go do it again. It helps that kind of thing. Your working memory. Things that you need to know for a few minutes and then forget, right? Your working memory improves with omega 3s. Australia, high DHA intake, 70% lower risk of anxiety disorder. 70%. That's tremendous. Here are some new ones on cancer. France, they did a study, high omega 6s. That's your peanut oil, your corn oil, safflower oil. We get a lot of those tied to 96% higher risk of breast cancer, high omega-3s, 42% lower risk. And this is consistent with what we've learned from a Japanese study where high omega-6s cause inflammation. We get so much omega-6s. But if we can flip that a little bit and bring up those omega-3s, dramatically lower inflammation and cancer risk. Let's see, um, da, 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 National Cancer Institute, high omega-3 intake after cancer, tied to 47% lower risk of prolonged cancer-related fatigue. You're stuck in that post-cancer syndrome of fatigue, get on the omega-3s, 47% uh, reduced risk of prolonged fatigue after cancer treatment. I, I went through that, I know that's a tough challenge when you're tired, and yet there's a lot to be done. Vanderbilt. Women who eat three or more servings a week of fish are 33% less likely to develop colon polyps, which can be linked to colon cancer, okay? Joints from Australia, seniors participating in resistance exercise saw nearly two times the improvement in strength if they supplemented the omega-3s. You know, seniors, keeping your strength is all about preventing falls, which prevents hip fractures, which prevents hospitalizations, which prevents death. Stay strong, stay out of the hospital. It's really that simple. Stay strong, stay independent. You know, makes sense to me. Uh, let's see, South Korea, rheumatoid arthritis patients who supplement at least 2.7 grams of the omega-3s per day were able to reduce their painkiller use by up to about 50%. This is one of the things I want to get across to everyone today. The omega-3s will lower your need for painkillers. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Or make your painkillers more effective. Either way, you know, either way it's a good thing. Uh, our <clears throat> 
Archives of ophthalmology. Omega-3 slow vision loss associated with retinitis pigmentosa. Not very common, but when it hits you, it's a real problem. Slows the vision loss. We know a young man with that, honey. Australia, uh, unfortunately, we put him on omega-3s. The research says we did the right thing. From Australia, children given omega-3s for the first six months of life have significantly lower allergies to dust and milk. So it calms that inflammatory reaction. Isn't it amazing, the new stuff, it keeps pouring in. So after we've been through all this, do you still believe that story, that, that study that they released to all the major networks that, that omega-3s don't, don't really help with heart disease? Baloney. We know it to just forget that. We can explain why they came to those conclusions. Let's do that, and let's go to our break, and when we come back, let's talk a little bit about the best ways to get these omega. What the best sources, and how much do you really need to take when we return? is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at BioInnovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. More and more people suffer from asthma. One cause is obvious. The world is a polluted place and the air we breathe is not always healthy. But other causes of asthma aren't as obvious. Recent research connects a poor quality, high sugar diet and the frequent use of antibiotics to higher rates of asthma and cases of asthma that are tougher to treat. Fast food diet does not meet our nutritional needs. Plus, the indiscriminate use of antibiotics can seriously disturb the delicate balance of healthy microbes in our intestinal tract. So switch to a garden fresh diet that calms and prevents asthma. Eat fruit like veggies such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and eggplant. Eat yogurt, ginger, turmeric, and take fish oil. Nature holds the answer, but it's up to us to make healthy choices. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We are back, everyone. Now, let's talk about the best ways to incorporate the omega-3s in our diet and how you supplement. How much do you really need? Richard. Yes. Let's talk about how we can get it yeah. into our diet every day. Well, it's recommended that we include uh, cold water, ocean fish mm -hmm. in our uh, diet on a regular basis. But we have to be careful about what types of fish we ingest because some fish of the sea can live 50, 100 years or more. We, some of we don't even know how long they can live. And during this time, like a swordfish, uh, during this long life, they can accumulate quite a bit of mercury. So we're advised to avoid the big, big fish 
okay? A shark, swordfish, marlin, ray, gemfish, tilefish, orange ruffy. Now, orange ruffy tastes good, but it can live a long time and it can accumulate a lot of mercury, and you don't need the mercury. We just don't need it. So it's recommended <clears throat> fish like salmon. You know, I think the longest lived salmon is seven to eight years. Uh, but most of them five years or so, and they can get quite large, but they don't accumulate the amount of mercury in that short span of life compared to what a shark could do over 50, 100, 150 years, okay? Uh, tuna, salmon, halibut, herring, some tuna get quite large too, but the smaller tuna would be better. Herring, sardines, mackerel, trout, uh, the small ones are very good, like sardines and anchovy, they just live one year or two maybe, very short life cycle, don't accumulate much mercury. Um, this is where you get the EPA, DHA, and ALA, alpha linolenic acid. And so this is a natural source. Keep them small, young fish. Cod is very good. Cod liver oil is good. Um, now when it comes to supplementing, be sure that your source has the omega-3s, DHA, and EPA. Now, many, for ethical reasons or dietary reasons, they are vegetarians, vegans, they don't want to ingest any animal product whatsoever. I understand that, but I don't have much of an alternative for you, okay? So that, think about that, think about adding that. The flaxseed oil, avocado oil, these other vegetarian sources of alpha-linolenic acid, you may be a good converter, you may be okay, but the research clearly shows an advantage to taking the EPA and DHA. So this brings us to the products that you've brought for us, honey. Mm -hmm. We have Bionutrients Fish Oil Complex. It has the boosted EPA DHA to get that higher level for you, which is so very important. We have flaxseed oil. And, but remember, it does not have EPA and DHA. Your body must convert that, okay? We also have a very nice product that I find very helpful for a variety of conditions, and that is the Omega-369. This has the EPA, DHA, ALA, and borage oil. That's the six. The borage oil is the six, but borage oil is a unique Omega-6 in that it can convert to threes and it has good application for arthritic joints and other health conditions and no other oil seems to help. So borage oil is really fascinating and maybe one day we'll focus on borage oil and give a little talk on that so we all understand how to use it appropriately because it is remarkable stuff. It can be very helpful. And we also have DHA gummies for the little ones. So children can have the gummy chews and get the, the DHA that they need absolutely. Well folks, modern science is slowly unraveling the EPA, DHA, omega-3 role in our health. And we've learned that just taking alpha linolenic acid for most is not enough to support vital health and prevent disease. So be sure your omega-3 supplement has that EPA, DHA component in it and may good health come with continued use and the research certainly shows that it does it's most impressive we have tens of thousands of projects now that have come in to support the use of i take it every day and so should you well honey it's amazing you had yours this morning correct? i did good I did. well you're set and i had it for dinner last night yes we did it was very good too thank you for your kind attention here at your health hope to see you again tomorrow folks bye-bye thank you so much everyone see you tomorrow bye-bye Mom. Mom knows the art of playing games. She can open things. She has the ability to translate two-year-old talk. She believes in us and our dreams. Moms just do awesome, everyday, ordinary things. I'm excited to welcome back my good friend, Mike Lindell. What are the odds that you'd go from crack addict to CEO and inventor of MyPillow? One of the things in the book when you call, what are the odds? 
in your own life, when you have a one in a million, a one in a billion, and things that you put off to chance, when do you add them together and when does it become a miracle? When you say this is a miracle, this can only be Jesus, can only be God. Don't miss this exciting new